So, where have I been for 31 days? Let's uh, let's let's take a look back in history. We need we need we need to start all the way back in the sweet succulent days of November 26th and November 27th. On this particular weekend, uh, I volunteered for an event in Squamish, the uh, the North Pole Express. Can't call it the Polar Express, otherwise Warner Brothers will sue you for a lot of money. So it's the North Pole Express. Actually, fun fact on that, a little bit of a tangent, it used to be the Polar Express, and uh, the museum, like, they actually, like, paid money for the right to use that name, and Warner Brothers was taking, like, 30% of what they made off of tickets and stuff. It was, like, $300,000, insane amounts. Not only that, but as part of the, uh, the, uh, agreement for the copyright they had to sell only the merch that Warner Brothers gave them they had to only use the music from the movie and then on like the last day of the event because they would run for four weekends on the very last day like some representative for Warner Brothers would come in and like see how they're doing it and then be like mm, you're doing it wrong you're representing our movie incorrectly. Mm. Meanwhile, they're asking for three hundred thousand dollars for the rights to use the uh, the name. So after COVID last year, they were like, "Fuck it, no more Polar Express." It's now the North Polar Express. They got rid of every everything that could possibly link them back to uh, Warner Brothers. So they're now they you now get to keep that three hundred thousand dollars and give it back to us volunteers, which is quite nice. Uh, so anyway, last weekend of November, I'm volunteering at this event. Uh, it's a pretty pretty simple event. Um, we just uh, we just take the train out of the museum. We go through CN's yard, Squamish, uh, down to the uh, Squamish terminals, and then we go all the way back up. It's about a 50 minute round trip. Uh, not too bad, but they need a a qualified train crew to run it, so that's why I'm there. Weekend goes off without a hitch. Pretty good, pretty fun, pretty fantastic. The following Monday, after the weekend, I get hit hard. The worst flu I've had in years. So yeah, this was like the first time I'd been sick in like forever. And it was, it was rough. It was brutal. I was like in bed for a solid 48 hours. And just, um, just, f I won't even go into details. It's gross. It was not fun. It sucked. It was awful. Um, I feel like I still have a bit of a cough, but it's kind of, it's finally gone away. Anyway, that was not the only weekend I was supposed to volunteer for. I was also supposed to volunteer for the last weekend on, uh, December 17th and 18th. And it was looking, uh, it was looking, uh, like it wouldn't be too good. Because I was, I was still ill. Um, like I was up and about, I was kind of going to work. But I, like, I was still coughing. So I was like... Maybe I shouldn't go. Um, but like, kind of last minute, it cleared up. Everything was fine. Everything was, was groovy. Um, so for the last weekend, I was like, fuck it. I'll be fine. I won't mingle with anybody. I'll stay, stay away from all the children. Goddamn children. So many children on this trip. I blame them. I blame those fucking kids. All right. I bet that one of those, one of those, one of those gross sniveling snot-nosed brats gave me the flu. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I'm coming for you. Little Timmy. Little Timmy, I know where you live. I'm coming for you. All right. Anyway, two whole weeks because of you, Timmy. Um, so yeah, I was like, fuck it. I'll be fine. Volunteer for the last weekend. Uh, it went pretty good. They gave us pizza and lasagna and mac and cheese. That's just what you get for being a volunteer on the North Pole Express. So I volunteer for the uh, the the last weekend. Um, was only dying slightly, um, minimal sleep, because uh, my sleep schedule is conti consistently destroyed by working for CN. So, you know, sleeping is not easy as it used to be when I was but a wee boy. But that's besides the fact. 
Uh, so Sunday, the I think it's the 18th. Yes, 18th of December, Sunday. Uh, we finish up for the weekend, last trip. Pretty good, pretty fun. There was a bakery in Squamish that made cookies for every weekend. They made like some 3,000, 4,000 cookies for every weekend. It's a lot of cookies. But Sunday, uh, well, sa Saturday there was like a bit of snow and then it snowed overnight as well. And then Sunday there was, there was like calls for lots of snow. So it's snowing, which uh, led to a lot of people not showing up on the last day. Which meant there was a lot of cookies left over. They were like, hey, we got a bunch of cookies left over. Take some if you want. Otherwise, they're going to go in the garbage. So I was like, all right, I'll grab a few. They open up, uh, they, they bring a bin out, and it's like full of cookies. There's like maybe like 50 cookies in this bin. 50, I'd say, give or take. So I was like, all right, I'll take a few. I take like four or five. And then they come out with four more bins. Full. I'm like, bruh, that's a lot of cookies. You're gonna throw away all those cookies? That's such a waste. So I got a bag and I filled it as much as I could carry. Cookies are heavy, I'm surprised. Cookies are surprisingly heavy. Who would have thought? I maybe had like 100, 120, uh, and then I brought them all back to, to North Van. Uh, to share with my uh, my fellow co-workers. So I'm driving back. It's 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 about 6 p.m. So it's night. It's dark out. But you know, I've I've driven the uh, the Sea to Sky Highway, which is uh, it's a pretty it's a mountain highway. So like it's pretty pretty twisty and turny. So so you know the speed limit on the highway is 80. I usually do 90 with my cruise control on because I'm pretty comfortable driving on the highway. Also, I swear to God, I'm the only one in the world who uses cruise control. It's a it's a it's a four lane highway, so like you can pass people, but people are always like someone's either going the speed limit or they're going six million miles an hour over the speed limit. All right, so I'm just I'm just vibing in my lane. And people are zooming past. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Have fun getting pulled over or driving over the side of the cliff. I don't care. But then, like, there'll be like that one person that's going like a kilometer faster or a kilometer an hour slower than you. And I'm just like, I don't want to disable my cruise control just to dis fucking deal with you. So I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Everyone behind me can wait. I'm gonna pass this dude. It's gonna take six years because he's going like a kilometer slower than me, but it's fine. I don't care. And then like you'll be just about to pass the guy, and then he speeds up. Like, bro, are you gonna go the speed limit? Are you gonna go over the speed limit? Take your pick. So mad. Happens all the time. Holy shit. Anyway, I'm driving fast down the highway. Everything's fine. I'm about halfway home, and then the storm of the century hits. Fucking day after tomorrow level. Insanity. Ridiculous. I'm like, hmm. I can't tell if the road is dry or wet or if it's snow or ice. I do not know. But I'm going to be a fucking idiot and just keep going 90 kilometers an hour with my cruise control on. I'll tell you, that didn't last very long. No siree. You know, I've never, uh, I've never uh, been at the helm of the wheel when I've lost control on the highway. This was a first for me. This was a first. And it was, it was, it was butt clenching. A little poo came out. I will not lie to you. All right. It was a mess. Fucking spin out. Thank God there was no one around. Fish tailing. Rear end goes this way. Head end goes this way. I'm sideways on a highway. It's the middle of the night. Insane snow. Like it just, it just, it just came down. It was insanity. All right. And I'm only halfway home. I have to get home to North Van from Squamish. It's an hour drive. I still have three minutes to go, and there's like six billion feet of snow coming down. Holy shit. I was like, there's no way I survive. There's no universe where I survive. But I tracked on. Perseverance. Also went like 20 kilometers an hour the whole way home, but it's fine. The road was not plowed at all. Plow trucks, non-existent. Because like, the thing is, Vancouver gets normally maybe, maybe half a foot of snow 
over the course of like a week and then it's gone for the rest of the year. So like nobody in the nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. We don't salt the roads, we don't plow the roads. Snow? Never heard of it. But on this particular day, it would have been very nice if there was at least a couple plow trucks out there doing the work, but no. So I'm driving my mini, which is like an inch off the ground through like a foot of snow. That's not easy. So I'm going down a highway that's normally 80 kilometers an hour, going like half the speed limit. I have my hazards on, but to be honest, I'm, I feel pretty confident with my winter driving. It's everybody else that's the problem, okay? People in Vancouver are bad enough at driving as it is. You throw bad weather into that, and it's and it's a hey, it's chaos, insanity. So, put chains on the car. You know what? Not a bad idea. Um. So, oh yeah, I also have the cookies in my trunk, so I had to deviate from the highway. The highway is bad enough, but like at least there's cars driving on the highway. So like the, the, the snow is kind of squashed down and you can drive reasonably well. You go into the city streets, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing at all. I barely even made it. There's a bridge that goes up to my work. It goes up and then over and it's a pretty steep bridge. And like I could barely get over that. It was ridiculous. But anyway, drop the cookies off. Go home. Try to go home. I live on a mountain. I don't know if y'all realize this. The road, fucking straight up. And they don't plow. They don't plow. No plowing at all. And I'm in a Mini Cooper, low to the ground. I got good tires on, but it's a, it's the hill straight up. There's there's no universe. I'm like, it's a struggle. What I, what I end up having to do, what I've done for like three times this past week, is I've had to park like halfway up the hill and then walk the rest of the way. Just like start at the bottom, gun it, 80 kilometers an hour, hope it don't spin out and kill a child. Wherever I stop, that's it. <laughs> I walk the rest of the way. It continues to snow like all night. All night. And then I get called for work in the morning. Yes, sir. Uh, and you'd think between when I went to bed and when I got up some eight to ten hours later, there would be some level of effort to clear the roads. Not even slightly close. No shot. Nope. Nothing. Roads are still absolute garbage because this city, despite being in Canada, a country known for getting snow, we are adequately in prepared in prepared unprepared for the snow it's insane it happens every year snow every year within the same months of the year and yet somehow just it just catches us by surprise i don't know i don't know i feel like it's pretty easy to tell when the snow is going to come and yet we somehow always are not prepared for it makes no sense but yeah getting to work was fun to say the least because now I'm going down the hill but it's not plowed and not salted and unsurprising about halfway down the hill massive accident the police have like the road blocked off all right there's no getting through except one way which is going back up the mountain and then going like the long way around. So I was like, well, it's either I try to get up this hill and I make it or I don't and I don't work. So we'll see what happens. Uh, my car has this feature which uh, is meant to like make it more stable. It basically adds, it like, it like breaks each wheel of the car independently to try and keep you on a straight trajectory. It only works so well. But like getting up this hill, it was a struggle. I will not lie to you. It was it was looking rough. All right. At the start, I was like, there's no universe where I get up this hill. There's no shot. No way. Tires are spinning out. There was like it was like fucking steam coming off the tires because they're they're spinning on the on the on the on the ice and stuff. But perseverance. 
perseverance wins out all the time, every day. It took a while, but I managed to get to the top of the hill. My speedometer completely gave up like halfway up the hill. It was like, are you doing 160 or are you doing zero? I don't know anymore. I give up. And then I just went zero for the rest of my trip to work. It was like, am I... My car says I'm going zero, but I'm definitely moving still. I don't know how that works. Police pull me over. Sir, do you know how fast you're going? I don't know. My speedometer says zero. I'm not moving. Sir, you were doing 80 in a school zone where it's 30. Sorry. I thought I wasn't moving. My speedometer said I wasn't moving. Of course, what goes up must come down. So when I get to the top of my hill for my detour, I have to go down a hill on the other side. Not fun. I don't know if anybody watching this has driven in the wintertime, but there is a innate sinking feeling when you're going down a hill and you push the brakes and you're not stopping. It is, it is, it is some serious butt-clenching shenanigans, that is for sure. And of course, you're not the only one on the road, no, because we live in a capitalist society where everybody has to work every day no matter what, so everybody's trying to get to work in the morning. And, uh, of course, everybody is struggling to stop on this hill. I'm not the only one. It's also always fun when uh, your steering wheel's all the way to the right, and you're still turning left. Love it. I thought for sure I was gonna die that day. Almost did, twice. But, uh, you know, perseverance wins out overall. And uh, I finally, eventually made it to work. Barely, once again, struggling on the hill that leads into my work over the bridge. But you know how it is. Um, so that, we had a week of that, a week straight of that nonsense. It's, the snow is finally mostly melted because we had uh, a bunch of rain. My computer right now says rain and snow coming soon, so I'm gonna cry. Um, but yeah, it has been a fun 30 days since I last streamed, indeed. You know, I feel like maybe you would think with, uh, with, with this year's snowstorm, we had like two snowstorms, three snowstorms in the span of a few days. Maybe the city will actually be a little more prepared. I doubt it though. I doubt it. <laughs>